Hi, everybody at the Tipsy Paintbrush, all my awesome customers. I'm so delighted to bring you a new product. Those of you who, um, we're going to wait a minute and see if some people hop on. So I put something on the calendar called Chalk and Talk. And it's going to be an opportunity for people to come in and get a beautiful chalkboard that they can design and display in their home. And they're going to be using, you're going to be using some semi-permanent chalk paste. And these are pretty cool because, you know, you can make a design on a chalkboard and then kids will come by and they'll just get their hands all over it and they'll make a big mess of something you just spent forever creating. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this semi-permanent paste, and we can use chalk all over it if we want. If you if you had a much larger chalkboard, we also will be selling those. If you um, you could apply this paste with these wonderful stenciled uh, transfers, and it will stay after it dries. It will stay until you decide to take it off. And essentially what we do to, to wash our transfers is we dunk them in water and then we wash them off with just some basic, um, you know, disinfectant wipes. But when you have it on your chalkboard, you're going to just spritz it with water and you're going to give it a few minutes and then you're going to wipe it off and start all over again. Just start designing all over. So uh, I hope some folks have joined us and I'm going to go ahead and jump in and get started. So you can see this is going to be such a cool, such a cool design. So I'm going to start with this. Now, the, the transfers come in large sheets and small sheets. They come up in a variety of different ways. This particular one came by itself, but I'm going to be adding some others to this that I thought might be fun. Um, so you can mix and match. You know, if, if you get a design, you can um, cut pieces of another design. That's the way that they are created is for you to be able to mix and match. So I'm going to lay this on here. It's sticky. It is reusable, you know, 15, 20, up to 50 times perhaps. Depends on how, how well you take care of this stencil and what you're actually applying it to. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to start with our squeegee. The chalk paste goes on with a squeegee. And here is that chalkology chalk paste. This is going to be, this is a beautiful color. I got this color on special. Um, the creator of Chalk Couture, of these, of this fantastic chalk paste, came to Charlotte. Uh, last night, I was there to meet with her with several other ladies who are part of the team. And uh, she gave us all this wonderful pink color. So I'm going to let it do its debut. So I'm going to just put that chalk on there, the chalk paste, and I'm going to put it all over the stencil. And... Uh, the transfer and just make sure that all of the areas that I want the pink on are going to be actually covered by the pink. And so you don't have to be really careful about it. You can be really sloppy. The thing I really love about this is it makes everybody's stuff look perfect. Then I'm going to just scrape it off. It's that simple. Okay. What I don't use, I'm going to put right back in the container. Now this is something you can do at the studio. At our studio and you can do it at home we do home parties and then you can actually buy it straight from us and do it yourself at any old time you want okay so I put all that back in there and I'm going to set that aside and then I'm going to take my transfer off and see what happens that is absolutely beautiful beautiful so I'm going to put that here in this water where it's going to sit until I have a minute to get to it now all I'm doing is just making sure that the um, silk screen material doesn't get clogged with that chalk paste when it dries. All right. When you come into the studio and you do it with us, we'll just dunk it in some water and we'll clean them later. All right, so now I'm thinking I've got some other beautiful colors out that I love, and I am going to start uh, layering some beautiful snowflakes on there. And so I'm just going to put them around, and I don't even have to put the whole thing on there. I'm going to just put, I'm going to put it to the edge like this. Now, this chalk paste can go on anything, okay? It can go on wood, um, chalkboard, glass, plastic, you know, anything. It can go on anything. 
And uh, in the first part of next year, to go along with these transfers, we are also going to be ha um, we are also going to have a product that works specifically with fabric. So think of the possibilities there. I mean, that's going to be awesome. Can make awesome shirts or tote bags or um, you know, it's it's opportunities to endless aprons, hats, whatever you want. All right, so we'll put some more on. Now I could just go right up against this sparkle. Um, I'm going to move it away just a tad. But if I wanted to lay it right on top or right across it, or if I wanted to put this transfer down first and then put sparkle over it, all I have to do is make sure that it's dry, which is probably dry at this point. Make sure that it's dry, and then I'm good to go. I can just start layering, which is what we are going to do. All right, so I'm going to put this up here. All right, we'll get one more in there. All right, now I am going to next move on to this teal because I think it's just gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to work this <clears throat> one at a time. Now, when you come and you do this with your friends, or um, you do it at the, you know, at a home party, or Maybe you're just going to do it yourself on your own, or maybe you, maybe you buy this and you do your own wood signs and you sell them. Every single one of them is going to look different if you want it to. It can look the same because you have a, because you do have these transfers, but it could look different because there are a plethora of colors, and then you can mix and match all kinds of designs, and you can cut them up and move them around the area. Okay, so I um, laid down this teal, but I'm planning to use this one again. So I'm going to grab a wipe, this disinfectant wipe, and I'm just going to wipe it down so that I can use it again. Actually, I'm just going to lay it right here, and we'll get to it. What happens is when I use these disinfectant wipes on this, it causes the back to be sticky again, and then I can reuse it any old time I want. Okay, oops, I almost went for the wipe. We're, we're sticking with the teal. You guys, this is so much fun because we start to think about, you know, everybody has some level of creativity. And some people, I'm super envious, are way better than me. But with this, my stuff's going to look awesome. It is going to look just as good as anybody else is doing it. And, you know, because creativity comes in all forms, my, mine actually might look better than somebody else that has more artistic ability simply because, I might have a nice color that's different than theirs, okay? And then it's all just per personal preference. All right, so I get another beautiful snowflake. Awesome. I hope you guys can see that. It's coming out really well. It's just gorgeous. Now, this is what you're going to be doing when you come for chalk and talk. You're just going to come, you know, come with your friends or come by yourself. It doesn't matter. And you can just sit, um, go over to our transfer area and pick out the ones you want. We are going to be providing some boards for you, some of these chalkboards, but you know, you could be doing it on wood. You could eventually do it on glass. We might even do some glass etching we could do with this. That would be cool. Um, another fantastic one. So this is like impromptu with these these little disinfectant wipes. I'm just kind of layering it in here. Oh, I just had to stop. Okay. So they don't dry up. All right. Sometimes I just stick them right back on there. If I'm doing the same color, I will definitely just stick them right back on there. All right. And here we go again. Now, like I said, if you wanted to, you could take a blow dryer to this and um, get it going, get it dry. So you could do layering, which is probably what we're going to do in just a second here. Now, what I did want you to see is now I have made a little boo-boo. I went outside of the line because, well, I just go fast sometimes. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I could take a little Q-tip and wipe it off. Or at this point, I'm just going to take this disinfectant wipe and wipe it right off. And then anything I don't want just comes off. No problem at all. 
it dries and it's gonna come out beautiful. All right, let's do this one and then I'll grab the blow dryer and we will accelerate the drying process and then we'll come back in with some wipes. You guys, this is, this is just too easy to do. It's just so easy. So we have all kinds of things. We have things for the fall. Um, we have scriptural, um, we have scripture. We have inspirational messages, messages um, all kinds of things that you can choose from. Okay, take that off. Okay, oh, it's a beaut, it's a beauty. All right. All right, well, let's look at it now. Now we have this beautiful design, but we're not done. We are going to put some white in there. All right, I'm gonna grab the blow dryer. I'll be right back. Okay, note to self, next time you do a live video, have your stuff ready. <laughs> All right, we're going to do um, layering again. Now we're going to go use this little stencil, and we're going to put it on the, um, we're going to use the white. So I'm just wiping it down just so it doesn't um, get any of that blue in there. And if I wanted to, I could blend it because I, I definitely, I do that a lot, actually. I do a lot of blending with mine. So now I'm going to overlap them slightly. What I don't want to do here, and it's up to you, but for me personally, I am not looking for a pattern. I am looking for just kind of random snowflakes, okay? Now, when you use these, you would, um, and then you're, you're done using them, you clean them up, you would let them dry all the way with the non-sticky side down, the sticky side up, and then when you go to, you just put it right back on the backing, and then when you go to use it again, it is good as new. All right, let's get this one in here. Again, we'll kind of go off page tab and do a little bit of overlapping. Okay, let's do that. All right, if I have a squeegee, that's not too dirty. Here we go. We are going to go on with the white now. Here we go. Now, if you're going, if you're going to be doing layering and you're doing like black and white, maybe, or like black and pink, you're going to want to do the lighter color first and the black, the darkest color on top, if you can, simply because um, it's harder to cover to cover a really dark color with a lighter color. Those of you who have been into the studio to paint, you know that's true. All right, let's pull this puppy up. All right, nice one. Okay, I think I might use that one one more time, so I'm gonna put it over here. All right. 
see what we have over here. Now, another thing that I really love about this product is they do make a lot of seasonal transfers. And so let's say you you have you love this frame and you put it up in your house and then the season's over, right? Christmas is over and you need something new, but you've got that hole already in your wall. You don't want to create another hole. And you love the frame. So just wipe it off, come back in, do another stencil. Find, find another transfer that you like, maybe some different colors, change it up. Okay. Put one here. Now again, this is just all personal preference. So those of you who are still with me and didn't fall asleep, you kind of get to see the final product. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. So you could do this. You could literally get your design done in you know 20 minutes after you learn how, or you could do this for you know an hour and a half. Um, it's all up to you. That's one of the reasons I like it. Oh, see, I just love these because every single time I do it, it's coming out perfect. Every single time. All right, let's just put a couple more in, and then we're going to call it a day. Let's get a different design because we just keep doing the same ones over and over again. But I put it over here in this mess. All right, let's get one of these. I got that one over here. I'm just air drying it a sec. Um, you could run it across something. I just don't want it to uh, create a mess when I put it on there. Again, I could wipe it off. I just don't want to get one started. Right? Hate it. Wipe it off. Start it in. And you know what? You could wipe off just part of the design. You don't have to do the whole thing again. If I had made a mistake like up here and I had to wipe it off, I could take off the whole thing. I could just take off one little area, let it dry, and then I can come back and I can lay the, the transfer right on top to where I see that the good stuff comes through, it shows through, and um, just put it in the one little area that I had to clean. All right. You guys are getting this idea. You're getting the idea. You see where it's going from here. And... What do you think? One more? One more? I think one more. One more. Because I love um, this little guy going back. He's a good one. We'll put this one right here. Get a lot of use out of that one. Okay. This is our last one. And then we'll have our finished product. Okay, now I'm getting to the end and I'm getting super sloppy. Hang on. Okay, and there she goes. All right. I like it when the when the transfer isn't all the way on the product because it kind of gives it a cool look. All right, so I can see where I made some mistakes that I want to clean up. I'm just going through and I'm going to clean them up now. I could, like I said, wait till it dries and I could come back through here with like a little Q-tip and, uh, and some water and just touch it here and there and that stuff will come right off. And then I will have a beautiful masterpiece. All right, go in there and grab those spots so we can see what we have. At this point, I think it's dry, so I probably don't have to dab it. I think 
think everything's dry. And there we have our beautiful masterpiece. All right, you guys come out and, and join us at Chalk and Talk. We're going to have a wonderful time creating beautiful signs. We are going to provide you with an 8 by 11 chalkboard with a frame, and then you will have an opportunity to upgrade. We have uh, chalkboards that sit on an easel that are just beautiful, and we will have magnetic chalkboards as well. There are also opportunities to buy chalkboards that are just huge, you know, two feet by three feet uh, that are magnetic, um, and some beautiful magnets to go with them. But come out, join us at Chalk and Talk, and thanks for watching the video.